All you tabaholics, this is Paul here, aka Polapusa, back with another video where we do yet another product review from Tabao every single week. So if you're new here, please do consider subscribing. So guys, I got a new phone. Yes, that's right, and this phone is not available in Singapore yet, but I managed to get this from Taobao, and it is the Xiaomi Mi 8 SE Standard Edition. So with a new phone, you're gonna need some new accessories, and that's what we are here for today. I'm gonna show you some of the new accessories that I bought for this phone. Especially if you've got a phone that is a couple of years now and you're changing a phone, these are the kind of accessories that you need for your new Android phone. And if you're interested in that, just stay tuned. Now, before we get into the accessories to buy for this phone, we have first got to take a look at what's inside the box. So let's go. Shoot. Every Chinese Xiaomi phone should come with a wording in the accessories pack here. This literally means always believe that good things are gonna happen soon. Shoot. Over here, we have a case. I'm gonna be honest with you, I've actually opened this phone up and used it already and there is a case that comes with it designed by me. And next, we have some paperwork here by Xiaomi. And of course, the SIM removal tool. And of course, the Type-C to 3.5mm audio jack converter that they have included here because this phone doesn't come with a 3.5mm audio jack. So, that's the problem with most phones these days. Moving on, you'll be greeted by the phone itself. Already started to use it and this is a glass bag so it's gonna pack a lot, a lot of fingerprints. So that's why you really need a case. You get the Type-C charging cable and the power brick itself. And that's basically all that comes with the phone. Coming back to the case itself, it's nothing much. It's a silicone case and it fits really, really well because it's from the factory. So the case is actually flush with the camera hump and now you've got a flat phone and that's what I really like about the case itself. No complaints here, so I'm not gonna get another case for this phone. Moving on to the accessories, most phones today come with the Quick Charge 3.0 and the manufacturer has also included the Quick Charge 3.0 power brick. And you really need this power brick in order for the Quick Charge to work. So I went ahead and bought a few more power bricks that is Quick Charge 3.0 compatible and the brand I've selected, it's called Bazus. And this power bricks only cost me about $11, $12 a piece and that's Singapore dollars and in US it should be about less than 10 bucks about $9 a piece packaging wise on point some paperwork here and there you have it the power brick itself now it took me a long time to find this product because all the power bricks in Taobao actually comes with the Chinese plug and it took me a while to find the UK plug and I managed to find this brand Beus that is UK plug and it's quick charge. So no complaints here, good quality product. The finish and make is really fantastic. As you can see here, it is 3A and that's what you're looking for. It is the flow of the electricity to the phone. So this one must be 3A. And we've got this power brick just for $12. So really, really fantastic product. Let's look at the white one. Must say the white one looks nicer, but yeah, I need two of this, one at home and one in the office. And of course now I also have the Chinese plug that is Quick Charge 3.0 compatible. So yeah, let's move on to the next item. Now with most phones you buy from a seller, they will usually give you the screen protector. So you don't need to buy an additional one. But here's why I got this one. I hope I don't butcher the name. This one is by, yeah, this one is by Kakosi and this one only cost me about $3.50 for three pieces of screen protector. There are some accessories inside, which is why I think this is a good one to get. Opening this up, first thing you're greeted is 
these two little packets this is very important we're gonna get into that a little bit later you have a cleaner that comes with the the screen protector professional cleaner of course this is one of the steps for you to apply the screen protector and we've got three glass screen protector here if you get the clear screen protector it should not be an issue problem comes when you get those anti-glare anti-fingerprint ones and it really reduces the brightness of the screen which i don't like so i got the clear one mm -hmm. you can see me yeah and then we've got a cleaning cloth and this is a really high quality one not those uh, lousy cleaning cloth it's a good and thick one we've got some stickers here this is to stick on the screen if you have a little bit of dust specks uh, you want to remove you can use this as a sticker high quality packaging three screens with just three dollars and fifty cents singapore dollars let's go ahead and uh, apply the screen protector So I was very lucky the screen protector was applied nicely there is no bubbles on the screen protector and on the edges it is nicely done really good manufacturer for this screen protector now a lot of times when people buy screen protector especially glass screen protector the glue on the edges is not really really well done when they manufactured the screen protector and that's why when they paste it on they're gonna get this thing called the halo effect some people call it the ghost ring effect it's really because the glue is not fully pasted onto the screen itself and that's what this thing is for actually opening this thing up as you can see there is a liquid capsule here and then there is this toothpick like looking thing cut away this so that the liquid can flow out and put the toothpick in the outlet and it would slowly apply this liquid into the edge of the screen this additional glue for your screen protector so it pastes the edge of the screen protector fully on the phone i was lucky enough not to use it but it was good that the seller included this and you can use it in the future should your screen protector have this halo effect next up Yes, the 3.5mm audio adapter is going to be a hassle and you have to bring this around all the time in order to listen to your music. So that's not going to be a good thing. We have got this, a Bluetooth headset that is connectable to your phone so you don't have to use this all the time. The Mi 8 and Mi 8 SE comes with Bluetooth 5.0. You can connect multiple Bluetooth devices onto your phone and stream to multiple audio sources at the same time. Ucom X Bluetooth headset. A simple and slick Bluetooth headset. There's a case here that holds the earbuds as well as charge the earbuds on the go as well as a portable charger. Looks very high quality as well. Charging docks itself and of course the outlet here at the back. If you put it in when it's connected, it should get the charge and it lights up red and it's very easy the fitting because it's magnetic you just gotta drop it in and it's connected immediately no need for special alignment close it and you're good to go got the earbuds themselves which is here quite light do they look weird charging cable micro usb again additional earplug fittings instruction menu so guys it's been four days now since i've started using the ucom x Bluetooth headset and I can tell you I quite like this product. Couple of things that I don't like. Firstly, what I found is that there are no labels on the earbuds itself. There is no left channel, no right channel because I think you can replace them one by one. Only after you pair the two earbuds together that they will tell you which is the left channel and which is the right channel and they will announce it over the earpiece itself. And there is a way around it, just have to use a permanent marker, label the earbud 1 and 2 and you should be able to know which one is left and which one is right. Complaint number 2, of course, uh, I use this mainly to watch YouTube and to listen to music and it's a bit sad that they don't have media control over this. You can only play and pause. For some headsets, you are able to skip to the next track by double tapping or triple tapping to skip to the previous track. Other than that, I really don't don't have much complaints about it but if you are an audiophile and you're looking for the absolute best maybe you give this a miss but for a mere $30 I can watch my YouTube videos with adequate quality uh, listening to songs is fine as well solid 6.5 uh, a bit lacking in the bass so if you are looking for a bassier uh, sound you may want to give this a miss 
but uh, overall I'm quite satisfied with the sound. It actually has a rubber base itself and it doesn't slide around the table and I double it up as a mobile stand. I have a silicon case, I just put it there and it's my mobile stand. Fresh or treasure life hack for you. Battery power lasts about two days. The good thing about the case itself is everything is fitted nicely. If you miss a line, you are not able to to close the base itself properly. Another thing I like about this is that you don't have to off the earpiece itself. You just have to put it into the dock and it will auto off by itself. I love the stealthness of the earbuds itself. Put it inside, sounds like something out of Iron Man from Tony Stark himself. It's sort of like recording a video itself and not looking at the camera. Right, now that we've solved the issue of the non-existent headphone jack, now it's time to move on to the Type-C port. A new Type-C port meaning you have to get a lot of new cables. Again, I would recommend the Bayer's Type-C cable and this is 100cm long. You can get this about $8. It's a branded cable and there's no two ways about it. It's a high quality cable. The build and the made use of a higher quality the ends itself are pretty well made. Get a bunch of them. Even in your house, you need a few of them for your bedroom, living room, kitchen, whatever. But this channel is about saving. I don't want to get so much cables at one shot. I would like to accumulate them. I have the solution for you. I went on to Lazada and got myself 10 of this micro USB to type C adapter and you can get this for just three Singapore dollars meaning one of them is only 30 cents sing so if you're interested in this you can get it from the link down below it's not labeled be aware of how you fit in the micro USB side tap it in whoop and you're good to go. The brilliant thing about Type-C, it's reversible. Now you don't have to look for the end with the pin. Now every side you can use to plug into your phone, but switch it around, but it's the same thing. Everything still works, the quick charge and everything. I've already tested every one of them. So yeah, get this and you're good to go. Now every phone you get in 2018 most likely will come with face unlock feature and that's the same with the Mi 8 SE on the phone. Look at the phone and we are unlocked. Maybe you might have uh, some secrets. You don't want someone to point your phone at your face and unlock the screen. I've got the perfect solution. So that's right guys. I got a pair of ski masks and goggles for my upcoming ski trip and this will come in handy you can wear this to sleep if you don't want your missus to do the face unlocking thing as you can see now it doesn't work at all and these are really cheap about eight dollars this goggle ski mask itself is only about four dollars and fifty cents so just kidding i've got this really it's just to ski and not to wear it to sleep and this is a really really good quality uh, ski mask, breathable as well, so I'm not suffocating or anything and goggles itself pretty quality as well, quite flexible. The cushion is alright, you know, it's not of the best quality but it's not too shabby at all. It comes with the case and a high quality cloth for you to clean. If you're doing some handy work, you can also use this goggles to protect your eyes. And with that guys, we've come to the end of the video. This has been a fun one for me if you're interested. To purchase any of the products including the ski masks and the goggles, links will be down below. If you like this video, please do leave a thumbs up down below. This is Paul here, signing off. Ciao! Kakos, kako, kakosu, kakosi, kakosi, kakosi. kakosi.